our final Copa America predictions. Now that the world knows that Argentina is going to have an easy path, we'll delve into <laughs> that in this video. Thank you, Bretson. We're filming in person, yes, people. Yeah. Going bold, and how are you feeling with this? Staying up till 2 a.m. is tough to, <laughs> to, to watch over here. Copa America games. Worth it, though. Absolutely been worth it. <laughs> um, yeah. Just being on it, in Portugal, being able to do this live is absolutely oh. wonderful, and we are doing this at the Cash Cash Mirage M. Mirage, thank um, you for the business lounge. It's mm. been fantastic to film here. Yep. But <laughs> Copa America rages on. And I, I am going to take umbrage with calling it the easy route, but you are right. Comparing. I, I'm comparing I, I Cristiano you... Ronaldo's path in oh, the Euros yeah. to the final, and I compare the Copa America Where it's... Argentina path I agree. to the Copa America final. I agree. I'd like to think there was no shenanigans. And I hope uh, both win. There, but I hope yeah. Argentina wins, and I hope Portugal wins. I want both legends to win well, in football. Portugal. Maybe like Vinicius. Yeah. I would hope more, but since he suspended the next game... It's going to be interesting. <laughs> and, and, and Brazil, they were never going to get grouped, True. right? They were never going to get kicked out, but I did call that, sir. <laughs> I called that second-place finish True. in Group D, but you know what I didn't call? <laughs> the USA getting grouped. Mexico getting grouped. And, and um, Canada mm. going through, which Canada, yep. that's going to be a big so one. So at least there's one American we can root for, uh, any American fans here. Uh, we, we are going to root for Jesse Marsh. Well, we are going to root for Canada. And they actually have a pathway that could lead them to the semifinals. So let's go with this. Will yeah. Canada beat Venezuela? Because Venezuela is making it's history. First time in their history that they win three out of three games. Yeah. And this is a golden generation. Segovia, yep. Salomon, Rondon, yep. they have... Players that can make a difference. Yangel Herrera. Yeah. I was quite surprised to see him. Yeah. Don't be shocked if Venezuela goes to the semifinal and faces Argentina. Yeah, they beat Ecuador. Uh, uh, Jose Martinez, Philadelphia Union destroyer, midfield destro destroyer. They also have a young buck. They've got John Aram Aramburu, Real Sociedad, mm -hmm. fullback, 21 years old. He has been absolutely phenomenal. True. I think he's got an assist. Uh, but yeah, Venezuela is one of those. I've watched them for years in the youth. Eduardo Bello. Eduardo Bello has been f great uh, as well. Um, we've watched them for years, right? Be really good on mm -hmm. the youth level. Uh, and it's never fully kind of True. translated. And now it seems it has. But they are going to have to run it up against a very plucky Canadian mm -hmm. side. One that will run through walls for Jesse Marsh because Marsh is of the Red Bull ilk. He knows it's all about the pressing. He's basically the Ralph Rangnick um, of, <laughs> of, the Copa of this, uh, except yeah, Ralph Rangnick has a whole lot more experience under his belt. And um, I really, that's where that analogy runs dry. <laughs> anyway, Canada will be running. They, J Jacob Schaffelberg has been phenomenal for them. Jonathan David has been, yeah, he's put the ball in the net. Alfonso Davies has not quite fully woken up, but they're good. Maxim mm -hmm. Crepeau and goal. Um, Canada has every, this is a 50-50 coin toss. And where... Why we're talking about this game is because it's the winner of this game. Plays Argentina. Plays either Argentina or Ecuador. And ah, if if, or, it, if or. it was myself, I thought Ecuador. I thought Ecuador was going to win the group. Venezuela and, deserves yeah, credit. They do. They do. Absolutely. They beat um, Ecuador. And Equ Ecuador, then those last two games, Moises Caicedo. Yep. Man of the match completely. Yep. But Here's my reminder. Mm. I got to say it. Public service announcement in this round, uh. in this round, after 90 minutes, it goes straight to penalties. So Ecuador has a chance, right? We don't know. Leo Messi is probably healthy. Mm -hmm. He's probably absolutely fine. He, he didn't play the third round game. That's okay. I think he'll be back for this. There's no way in heck he's missing this. <laughs> they have the stronger side. Ecuador has not quite put together a performance yet that has convinced me that they are capable of kind of leveling up on the spot. Mm -hmm. But boy, they have talent. This will be an historic tournament for Ecuador yeah. because of Kendri Paez being his oh, first yeah. one. Oh, my God. Second youngest goal scorer in Copa America Taking history. Penalties. And now, exactly. And now <laughs> he's going to be play, playing against Argentina yep. with Lionel Messi. People are hyped to watch Argentina with Messi mm -hmm. and Kendri Paez with Ecuador. Because if you don't watch South American football and you don't know that Chelsea signed one of the most promising South American talents right, right now in football, you're, you're, you are now aware because Kendri Paez is a top technical modern day 10. Yes. Top, top yeah, player. Part of that Independiente del Valle. Yeah, um, exactly. We've, we've talked about it. We could name about 
seven or eight, but yes, he, he plays well beyond his years. The only reason you can't settle down on it mm-hmm. and, and talk about Kendry Piaz is because obviously Chelsea keeps adding. True. Um, and Kendry will be there next season. So I, I think Ecuador has more of a chance than people are giving them credit for. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not going to go anywhere away from <laughs> here. They still are creating chances, even without Messi. Messi's only played two games, and he has he's still leading the tournament in big chances created. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got Lautaro Martinez scoring goals and in the lead for the Golden Boot, four goals. I don't think any – Emiliano Martinez in goal, who hasn't really been called into action True. yet – uh, yes, Argentina makes it to one side of the final. That's uh, my guess. I, I do agree with you. I think yeah. Ecuador will be the biggest fight. Yeah. And I agree that Argentina will be going to the yeah. final. And a mad start going with what we said. Kendry Paez is 17. Yeah. And he's played 12 games. 12 games for That's, Ecuador yeah. with great. two goals, three assists. Mm. Expectations are at their highest with Cachedo, Hincapié, Pacho. This is a special Ecuadorian great. generation. Yep. And why didn't they finish first? Well, something that's common, and this is a fun fact. Like this video if you're enjoying. It helps us tremendously, people. Every like helps us. More than 500. That will be bold. Mm. <laughs> but every team that topped the group in Copa America had an Argentinian manager. Ah, <laughs> wow. U.S. should have gotten Marcelo Bielsa when they had the chance. That's for sure. And now with knowing this. You know who just came to? <laughs> Marcelo Bielsa. Scaloni, yep. uh, Nesto Lorenzo, and Fernando Batista. I just found our next manager. <laughs> Marcelo Gallardo was just ah, let go. Alitihad. Marcelo Gallo- Gallardo Whoa. was just let go. Bring him in. And Pioli is going to Alitihad. That's the conversation right wow. now. Okay. Argentina going to the final. But now the big talk yeah. is the other side. Yeah. It's the other side. Because Brazil, Vinicius Jr. Mm-hmm. should never... Never make a foul like that. It's immature it for a player with his level in the Champions League experience he has with Real Madrid. Getting a yellow card, knowing he's risking yeah. the next game against Uruguay, can never happen. Never happen. Vinicius yeah. Jr. will lose the Ballon d'Or maybe because of this foul he did. Yeah. Uruguay are favorites against Brazil there. without Vinicius Jr. Yeah, la- last time they played was in an October World Cup qualifier. Uh, Uruguay won 2-0. Mm-hmm. I believe Darwin was on the score sheet uh, maybe one, maybe twice. No, Darwin has definitely scored, one yeah. time. Yeah, he definitely scored in that match, and that was not that long ago. We, we need to remember the precarious situation that led to Dorival mm-hmm. um, being named the coach oh, yeah. of Brazil. The precarious situation is Brazil – have been horrendous in World Cup qualifying. They're in sixth place. They have two wins in six matches. They will likely still qualify. That's not an issue. Mm -hmm. But this is not new. Vinicius, Rodrigo, Rafinha, uh, Bruno Guimaraes, they have not clicked, period. Period. Not once. Well said. Not once. And even with the new coach in, it is still not clicking. Um, and who's and, the best midfielder? And who's who's the best midfielder? Bruno Guimarães? Yeah, Douglas yeah. Luiz? Look no. how poor Brazil is right now. Because <laughs> it, it, <sighs> has happened in the past. You have top midfielders there. And the fullbacks. I mean, you're looking at the 11 and you're going like... This eh. is what you do. Yeah, you shrug your shoulders. You're, uh, well, from oh, okay. Roberto Carlos, Cafu, Marcelo, Dani Alves, to what Brazil has right now, yep. they better hope Wolves signed a world-class potential yeah. fullback with Pedro <laughs> Lima. They must. They must. That's at least that's the feeling. Good yeah. signing, but potential. Or Jan Cotu, which when Jan Cotu played against Real Madrid, right. Vinicius cooked him, and that's why we what we never seen. We've well, like, he he did have a good group game, Vinicius. But I still what? haven't seen the same level. Vinicius Jr. at the same level, he's at with, with Real Madrid. I, it's uh, very disappointing in my point of view. And if you take the other side of the coin, right, it's Brazil-Uruguay. Mm-hmm. Um, Brazil-Uruguay feels very different right now. We mm-hmm. mentioned the 11, but Uruguay right now has been getting in immense returns yeah. from Manu Ugart in the midfield. <laughs> Uh, he's got to lead the tournament in balls recovered. He's got to lead the mm-hmm. tournament in tackles. Yeah, and I, I've not confirmed that, so you just, that, that's yeah. true. There you go. I mean, you can see it on the field. He has <laughs> ruled the midfield. He ruled it against the U.S. in that, that penultimate game, um, and he likely will rule it again mm-hmm. in this matchup versus Brazil. I watched them during World Cup qualifying Brazil, and I did not feel good about this. I don't see Brazil uh, overcoming Uruguay. I don't see Brazil, even if they overcome Uruguay, I don't see them beating Colombia. 
which I mentioned from they the didn't. get-go. And they, they didn't. didn't beat Colombia, and Colombia actually outplayed the heck out of them True. and somehow didn't get another goal. So I, you could almost call it, which is weird to say, encouraging that Brazil managed that draw. Man. Didn't matter. Colombia still got that first prize. They move on. They play a, a better fight against Panama mm -hmm. in the next round, and that's why I think it'll be Colombia, Uruguay. It's the question of who wins, Colombia or Uruguay, to face Argentina in the final. And any of those two have a chance to beat Argentina. They, def they definitely do. Definitely do. Although that, there will not go straight to penalties. That will be a normal. Game. Uh, but, but going with another being devil advocate in what you said, Rafinha is yep. the first goal scorer of a free kick in Copa America. Maybe no, Rafinha is going to save Brazil and it's not Vinicius Jr. And it's a Barca player, not Hendrik Rodrigo right. and Vinicius Jr. to yeah. save Brazil when most needed. Yeah. So Rafinha, it's your time to shine. It's yeah. not Neymar. It's Rafinha right now. Save you could be the savior. They be. need someone to make the difference. Yeah. And if Hendrik is the man to make the difference against Uruguay in Brazil, in the country of Brazil, mm. the Brazilian fans are going to be saying that Hendrik is the next big thing. Not Vinicius Jr. Opposite maybe to Real Madrid fans that had Ballon d'Or expectancies for Vinicius. And after this tournament, it will not be the case oh. it's the biggest it's so evident in my point of view that the Copa America has had a massive downgrade it's really evident you watching the quality of the Euros teams and Copa America Chile Chile years past would easily win this Copa America in yeah. my point of view with Alexis Vidal going really bold like you, it's they still got Claudio Bravo uh, in between the sticks right <laughs> 41 I think still going strong so I got to say this, like yeah. Colombia, they're, they're playing great football, but this is an opportunity like unreal for Argentina to win another trophy. And yes, they're the strongest side in this competition. Brazil, wow. Colombia, 1-1. One, one. Uy, uy, uy. But Bretton, I didn't speak on Colombia, what I think about Colombia. And right now, Colombia is unbeaten 26 games. Yep. Do you think Colombia is the team that's going to play Argentina in the final? I do. I do, and I think they're going to beat Argentina in the final. Ooh! Yeah. I, I Player of the uh, tournament, James Rodriguez, yes, if they beat uh, Argentina. Luis Diaz is a shout as well. I, I told you about Daniel Munoz. He's got multiple goals <laughs> from right back. You told the world about Daniel I did. Munoz. Jefferson Lerma looks very, very good in there. I don't know if that happens, if the whole glow up with Crystal Palace at the end of the season with uh, Oliver Glasner. Oh, yeah. If, if that didn't happen, I don't know if they have that confidence heading into this tournament well to just kind of transplant that to the uh, Colombian um, – Side Argentina very <laughs> clearly has the quality uh, beaten each positionally, mm -hmm. right? But there is something about this Colombian team that that makes me feel like it is a team of destiny in the Copa America that they can get it done. Um, and we've seen in years past, even with the Vidal years, the Alexis Sanchez with Chile. Everyone thought Argentina was going to win that final. <laughs> everyone thought it was going. They were going to win that final. Now the monkey's off. True. The back, right? Leo has won his Copa America. He has won his World Cup. So it's not quite as devastating if it doesn't happen but this time Scaloni around. But Scaloni hasn't lost. Colombia, it's true. It's true. I still feel Colombia is going to win this. <laughs> Colombia will overcome Uruguay in the semifinal. They will go on and they will beat Argentina in extra time in the final. And they'll be unbeaten 28 games That'd if they win the Copa right. America. Run, huge statement. Run it back to 93, 90, 92, 93, 94 when that was uh, Valderrama, Freddy Rincon, uh, team. I, I just showed you my age a little bit. Um, but that Colombian team was monstrous. True. Monstrous. And this team, so. I think, will be remembered too in future because – James Rodriguez is an absolute South American and Colombian legend for what he's doing. A leader, a 10, symbolizes the number 10. And it's not Rodrigo, it's not Vinicius, it's James Rodriguez, a contender to That's be great, the player of the tournament in Copa America. And in, in the six goals of Colombia in this tournament until now, James Rodriguez has been involved in four. And if you see the way they play, he's the difference maker. So James Rodriguez... You're going bold, and I wanted to give him the special credit. Luis Diaz, I agree. Yeah. Best player, if you don't count form, best James, I'm giving it to him. 
the player of the tournaments if Colombia's winning this. He's up there. <laughs> He's up there. It's it's great. It is also just wonderful um, to see. And I I do agree with you. I know you started to go down the pathway of Euros versus mm-hmm. Copa, Copa America, America in terms of prioritizing experience, prioritizing the atmosphere. And, Difficulty. Uh, you, you see the games, right? Mm-hmm. You could maybe argue that the geography is a little bit different. And the pitch. Uh, the, the pitches uh, are small I agree. sizes. I agree. And, and the thing is, is we have really solid infrastructure. Mm-hmm. The issue is our biggest stadiums Mm -hmm. are football stadiums, and they're played on turf. And they put on top of the turf, they put real grass, which still makes it hard. And that's why a lot of people think Edson Alvarez got injured because of that. Mm -hmm. They think a couple other injuries can can be be tied back to that. And, yes, playing in these cavernous, massively large uh, NFL stadiums, they will all be packed in 2026. Don't get me wrong. I don't know Bretson. Well, I don't know Bretson. Hopefully, they will it, all it be packed. An expi- right. If we get Micronesia versus uh, Vanuatu or something, no, I'm just kidding. But if we get... Uh, Ec- will it, Ecuador, like Venezuela, be packed if they're in the World Cup? I think so, yeah. I mean, Venezuela. there's a lot of Venezuelans living in the United like States. Like Ecuador, Venezuela. But you're right. The, the, the price point. Mm-hmm. That is the biggest difference here. has to be affordable. Here. The price point oh, is the not pitch affordable sizes. The pitch sizes. A world-class team like France... England, Pera. Portugal, playing with a small pitch size. I know, I know. It's like they're training, oh. honestly. And it's not good for the spectacle. So, for sure, from the Copa America, US, yeah. FIFA must learn and not use the same pitches that they're using in the World Cup. That I think that will be the case. Yeah, the USA. The World Cup's different feeling. Right. We're messing it up on the front of uh, Greg Berhalter and the player personnel and all that good but stuff. But you have a golden Don't generation. Don't do it. Don't mess it up. <laughs> On the prioritization exactly. of great playing fields, great infrastructure, exactly. great everything else. This World Cup needs to be perfect. <laughs> it needs to be perfect if I have to watch Greg Berhalter. And Argentina uh, the way winning yeah. Copa America before the World Cup. So you say Colombia, I'll say Argentina. In they this need a shakeup. I think if Argentina wants a chance to win it again in 2026, they need a shakeup. Oh yeah, they they need something that's gonna gonna punch him in the mouth. Colombia winning the Copa America will do it. And it's a question mark if Lionel Messi is going to the World Cup. Let us know also, down below yeah. on YouTube because on YouTube it's a massive help. FC Wonder Kid community, your thoughts about who's gonna win the Copa America. If you're listening until now on YouTube, thank you so much, so much for listening until now. Thank you, Hotel Mirage, for allowing us to use yes. the business lounge and Breton. Hopefully you're right. Uh, we'll <laughs> Hopefully you're right with Colombia and not where Argentina. But let us know your thoughts down below. Thank you for listening until now.